Hello, my dear. I'm Dr. Alam Musbah, professor of obstetrics and gynecology faculty of Medicine Mansoura University. Let us try to answer some MCQ in obstetrics. Okay. Choose the one best response. Let us start with the first question. Implantation occurs at which stage of embryonic development? Implantation occurs at which stage of embryonic development? Zygote, eight cell embryo, four cell embryo, blastocyst, morula. Let us think about these distractors. The best one response here is blastocyst. As you see, this is the best answer. Okay. Let us go to the next question. The term birth usually refers to fetus born waiting at least what amount? How many grams? 250 grams, 500 gram, 1,000 gram, 1,500 gram, or 2,000 gram, okay, we are saying the at, the, at least the lowest weight of a fetus, we call it birth, because below it is considered miscarriage, okay, 500 gram is the best answer here, okay? okay? As you know, either 500 gram or 20 weeks gestational age, above it is called birth, below it is called miscarriage. Let us go to the next question. In general, spontaneous fetal movement Sorry. In general, spontaneous fetal movement began at what gestational age in weeks? In general, spontaneous fetal movements began at what gestational age in weeks? 6 to 8 weeks, 12 to 14 weeks, 16 to 18 weeks, 20 to 22 weeks. Let us think about it. Okay, 16 to 18 weeks is the best one response. You know that the multipara can feel the fetal movement earlier than primary gravity. Okay? Because she has an experience, so she can feel the kick earlier, between 16 to 18, and the primary gravity can feel it between 18 to 20. So, if I know this information, I I will choose 16 to 18 weeks accurately. Okay. Let us go to the next question. Okay, this is a previous question. The answer is 16 to 18 weeks, as I said. Next question. In the fetus, what are the two structures between the posterior margin of the parietal bones and the upper margin of the occipital bone called? Again, in the fetus, what are the two sutures between the posterior margin of the parietal bones and the upper margin of the occipital bone cone. Occipitalis, sagittal, lambdoid, coronal, or frontal. Of course, between the parietal bone and the occipital bone is called lambdoid suture. Lambdoid suture. So this is the best one response, as you see here 
in this line. Okay, so lambdoid suture is the first one with both. Next question. Which of the following is defined as the number of live birth per 1,000 population? Okay, again, which of the following is defined as the number of live births per 1,000 population? Fertility rate, birth rate, delivery rate, fertility index. Of course, the best one response here is the birth rate, because this is the definition of the birth rate. Number of live births per 1,000 population is the definition of birth rate. So, the best one response is birth rate. Okay, let us go to the next question. The perinatal mortality rate per 1,000 total birth is calculated by adding the number of neonatal death to which of the following? Again, the perinatal mortality rate per 1,000 total birth is calculated by adding the number of neonatal death to which of the following? Number of stalpers, number of infant deaths, spontaneous abortions, childhood deaths. Okay, let us think about it. Which one is the best one response? Of course, if I want to add neonatal deaths to stulp to stulpers, it will give me the perinatal mortality rate. So the best one response here is number of stulpers. Okay? Okay. Next is the question. A birth is defined as preterm when it is below which gestational age. A birth is defined as preterm when it is below which gestational age. 30 weeks, 33 weeks, 35 weeks, 37 weeks, 28 weeks. Of course, as regards the definition of preterm, the best one response here is 37 weeks as you see this is the best answer 37 weeks next how is a new need classified that is born between 266 and 294 days of gestation Again, the question again, how is neonate classified that is born between 266 and 294 days of gestation? Preterm, term, post-term, post-mature, or dismature? Of course, if you remember that gestational age is 40 weeks plus or minus 14 days okay so it is 280 days plus or minus 14 days so this range 266 and the 294 equal to 280 plus or minus 14 days so this is a full term or term baby okay so the best one response here will be term as you see this is the full term or term baby so this is the best one response okay next the normal umbilical cord contains which of the following systems of blood vessels 
we know that there is umbilical artery and the umbilical vein. Okay. The normal umbilical umbilical cord contain which of the following system of blood vessels? One artery and one vein. One artery and the two veins. Two arteries and one vein. Two arteries and the two veins. Two arteries and the three veins. Of course, all of us should know that the best one response here is two arteries and one vein. Two arteries and one vein is the best one response. And if there is abnormalities in the umbilical arteries, this is associated with congenital anomalies. Suppose there is single umbilical artery, this is usually associated with umbilical, uh, with congenital anomalies. Okay? Okay, so the normal is two arteries and one vein. Next, in the fetus or neonate, what are the two sutures between the frontal and the parietal bones called? Frontal, sagittal, lambdoid, coronal. So, the best one response here is coronal suture, because coronal suture between the frontal bones and the parietal bones. So this is the best one response. Thank you. Try to remember the three books belong to me, published on Amazon, textbook of obstetrics, textbook of gynecology, contraception handbook. I hope it is beneficial for you. See you next lecture.